Sharon would like to thank the following sponsors. STI, Education for Real Life. Mary Pauline and Sir George Salon. Fat Boys Pizza Pasta. Aquabest, Global Quality Waters and Environmental Solutions Technologies Incorporated. Zagu, Be Refreshed. Feel Zagu. Do you want flawless white skin? Try KB Glutathione sa KB Glowing Cup. Oracle Jewelry. You may visit their store at 2nd Floor Main Building, SM City North. Dr. Reynaldo Carpio of Grand Monaco Homes. Sa Grand Monaco, tutulungan kang magkabahay. Zenzes. TJ Media and Star Karaoke TKR 304P. Distributed by Soundmax Media Marketing Corporation. Moose Gear. Ultra Mega Supermarket. Presyong mababa na, mas pinababa pa. Kapag may kasiyahan at handaan, kasama lagi ang Happy Fiesta. Masarap at abot kaya. Happy Fiesta! Frutas Shakes, Smoothies, and Four Seasons. A frutas a day keeps the doctor away. Blim's Furniture. Kasama pa rin po natin ang nag-iisang si Madam Imelda Marcos. Nakikilalani naman natin ngayon bilang isang ina at lola. Oh, so Madam, bilang ina po, nakwento nyo kanina, lagi nyo silang sinasama. Nung nagsilakihan na po sina Aimee, sina Bongbong, sina Irene, paano naman kayo mag-banding together? Magbabanding, pero at the same time, merong sinatinatanong sa akin. Mrs. Marcos, paano ba didinisiplin ang mga anak mo? Paano nga po ba? Paano ba? Sabi niya. Sabi ko, alam niyo, dinisiplin ako mga anak ko. Inuna ko muna disiplinan yung sarili ko. Paano Kasi po? Kasi sasabihin ko, magsaklay, magsuklay kayo ng buhok ninyo. Hindi ka nagsusuklay ng buhok. Maligo kayo. Hindi kayo nang naliligo. Hindi kayo nagbabras ng teeth. Nge. <laughs> ang ginagaya ng mga bata, yung ginagawa mo. Hindi o, yung hindi sinasabi. Hindi yung sinasabi nyo. At ang nakakatakot pa, pagkamurahin ninyong mga anak ninyo, And then you are violent with your children. You will see. You will have criminals for children. They will turn out to be violent also. Mm -mm. They will turn out to be violent. So maganda. So you set an example more for them. More example. More by example not, than not by what you say, lecturing. but what you do. Okay, ang nanay talaga is 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 example. Kasi ilaw talaga dapat natahan. You, you give birth to them. You raise and them then well. You eventually. The molding is mostly yours also, nanay. Eh. Opo, si Presidente po, paano po siya magdisiplina? Ganun Iniiwan po sa inyo. Ay, di lalong mas maganda magdisiplina yon Naku. kasi nag-aaral, pero may very judicious, <laughs> very... He always strives for excellence and he always um, is a great example to the children. Did anybody, did either of you po turn to snap, uh, hindi, what you call spanking, rather. Hindi masyado. Hindi, hindi masyado. Hindi. It was... Not really, not hurt, because if you are violent to your children, they will become violent, eh. Pero pag yung minsan Alam paalala mo, yung lang po. Alam mo, yung mga bata ng mga tilyo, Apo. ng mga masasawayin, <laughs> kulang yan sa pansin. So, kailangan lang kailangan kausapin. Kailangan lang ng haplos. Kailangan lang ng halik. Kailangan ng yakap. Nung malaki na po sila, yung old enough to have relationships ni Nang, may boyfriend, girlfriend, kayo po ba ay meron din kayong say sa kanilang mga love life nung araw? Siyempre, meron din kang say. You know, bibigyan mo rin silang pangaral and all of that. But you can only go so far. You know? Kasi they are also following some kind of a destiny sila, of you know? Miss, kisabihin mo, ikaw ganito, ikaw ganito, mag-doktor ka, mag-ganito, pero gusto nila mag-abogado, wala kang magkagawa. Pagbigyan mo naman sila. Mm -hmm. And then, pero of course, yung gusto mong mangyari sa kanila, you will give your side and the, the, the different potential and what is good on that side. Mm -hmm. Pero, pipilitin mo, walang mangyayari. Walang mangyayari. So mangyayari. sometimes, Uh, tama po ba ako pag sinabi kung sometimes you also have to allow them to make their own mistakes if yeah, they need to? They, they, they will make, we, not everything is uh, one, I, because everybody has their own destiny and divine plan. That's true. Paano naman po yung, nung lumalaki po sila, and of course, I mean, every person has gone through his own share of heartaches, heartbreaks. Pag meron po bang heartbroken sa mga anak ninyo, umiiyak din po sa inyo. Aba, syempre. Na, umiiyak at saka lalo mong 
uh, sasamahan at uh, lalo mong tutulungan at uh, kung at lalo mong mamahalin sapagkat uh, nakakaawa yung parang ang feeling nila ulila sila sa pagmamahal ang pinakamahirap yung para kang ulila sa pagmamahal. Ngayon po, Ninang, you are turning 83. Um, ano po ang birthday wish nyo para sa sarili ninyo? Because you have made so many wishes for the country, for the Filipinos, but for Imelda. For Imelda, for me, my only goal in life is when I die, I go to heaven with the Lord and Ferdinand. When that happens po, madam, and you do see um, President Ferdinand Marcos again waiting for you, what do you think will be the first thing you will say to him? I, I will say, um, stand to him, um, Proudly, and I said, Ferdinand, uh, what you did, you have taught me to be strong, courageous, and always told me to be makajos, makabayan, makatao. I did that all my life after you were gone with great intensity at the risk of life and everything and pain. But uh, I am proud to stand before you that I did because I love you. Thank you, Madam Imelda. Thank you very much for the time that you have given to us, Ninang. It's very good to have seen you again and to talk to you and to see that you're doing well. And mga kapatid, Patunay po ang kwento ni Ginang ni Madam Imelda Romualdez Marcos na nagumpisa at nag-uumpisa ang lahat sa isang pangarap. Libre naman ang mangarap, eh, hindi po ba? Hindi sapat na dahilan ang kahirapan para matakot tayong mangarap at umabot pa ng mas higit pa sa ating tingin natin ni kaya natin. Sabi nga po niya, walang excuse para maging pangit. Kailangan talaga kahit mahirap ka, kung anong kaya mong pagandahin para ikasaya ng kalooban mo, gawin mo. Sa huli po, nasa ating mga kamay pa rin ang ating landas sa isang masipag, matyaga at may takot sa Diyos na nilalang mas posible ang isang hindi lamang fairy tale life na may happy ending kundi isang tunay na buhay na may kasay, kumbagay may saysay. Sabihin man nila ang um, ano man ang nais nilang sabihan tungkol sa mga Marcos, lalo na po kay Ginang Imelda, isa lang naman po talaga ang nakakaalam ng totoo, ang Panginoong Diyos. Ilang beses nang nakakahusga ang napakaraming tao, pati kami nahuhusgahan din, artista lang kami, lalo na po siguro sila. Pero as we see, she's very peaceful and she's only answerable really to her Creator. So you can love her or hate her, but you will find her only fascinating no matter which side you're on. Because there is only and there will only be one, Imelda Romualdez Marcos. Mga kapatid, maraming salamat po at sana'y nakapagbigay sa inyo ng kaligayahan at inspirasyon ng ating pakikipag-usap kay Mrs. Marcos. Ako po si Sharon. Lagi niyong kasama, kapatid. Salamat po. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Thank you so much.